Hello everyone, I'm Dylan with the Flojo product innovation team, and today I'm going to show you the difference between concatenating with compensated parameters and uncompensated parameters. So first, let me just start by saying that normally I would advise uh, concatenating with uncompensated parameters when the files that you're concatenating share a compensation matrix. So if all those files that are being concatenated together come from the same day or come from similar conditions, such that their compensation matrices are the same or, or very similar, then it's usually appropriate to concatenate them using the uncompensated parameters because after you can concatenate them using the uncompensated parameters, you can then apply that compensation matrix later to that sample, the concatenated sample that you just made. When you concatenate using the compensated parameters, which we see here, um, this is appropriate if the samples have very different compensation matrices but have the same parameters, because then we're using the compensated values for each of the samples. A compensated matrix cannot then be applied to this concatenated file but the raw values will represent the compensated values already, so it wouldn't make sense to apply a compensation matrix to this. The reason I like this option less is because then we can't change the compensation matrix and the parameter names are slightly different than the gate names, um, as you'll see in a second. So I'm going to do this both ways just to show the, the two differences, that way people have an idea. Um, first, let me concatenate with uncompensated parameters. I'm going to give it the suffix um, uncomp. So we know it's the uncompensated one. All right, I'm just gonna do it like that. It's gonna go to my desktop, I think. Cool, we'll put it in the existing workspace. And then let me just do the same thing again, exact same samples, exact same parameters, but I'm gonna call this one um, comp or compensated. Existing workspace. And you can already see it's giving me a message here because the parameter names for that file that I just made are different than the names in the workspace. So it's, um, it's it, the gates can't be applied to it automatically. So let's go take a look at that. Um, there here at the bottom, you can see, here's the uncompensated parameters one. So this is my concatenated with uncompensated parameters. But as you can see, there's that gray grid next to it indicating there's a compensation matrix that has been applied to this sample it's the same compensation matrix that was applied to these other samples. It automatically chose that matrix because all the files that I concatenated together had the same matrix, so it just could keep that matrix with the file. It made a lot of sense. So you can see, since these files were um, compensated, I can go ahead and open this up. You can see it's using my compensated parameters here, same name, so it was able to apply the same gates. So perfect. Now with this other one, the one where I used the compensated parameters, you can see that there's no compensation matrix next to this file because it wouldn't make sense because if you look at the file, the parameter names now have this FJ comp in front of them. They're not like the normal compensated parameter names, but they include an FJ in front of them to indicate that Flojo has compensated those parameters. And then when Flojo made this file, it wrote the compensated parameters to the file. We did this so that way a compensation matrix can accidentally get applied to this file because you know, Flojo doesn't necessarily know any other way that this file is, has been compensated already. The thing that indicates that is these FJ comp parameters. And in order to, to apply the gates to this file again, I'd have to redraw my gates on these compensated parameters. So I hope that clears up the difference between compensated and uncompensated parameters when concatenating. See you next time.